Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Again, it doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. We're going to get into some NBA action for November 27th. Before we do, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access here to this uh, VIP club section, and you will see all the tools here across the top to help you make your picks. Okay, so let's take a look here. There's five games on the schedule. It's a light schedule for Monday, but we're going to take a look at all of them. First one is Los Angeles Lakers and Philadelphia 76ers. See, Philadelphia is coming in ice cold down. They have lost their last two. They are two and four over their last six. While the Lakers are average stats, they are four and two over their last six, and they are coming off of a three-point loss to uh, Dallas. If you look at the score prediction, it's Philadelphia 121, Los Angeles 111, with the confidence in the prediction of 48%. If you take a look at the over-under, you can see that teams have been trending in games under the line mainly in the last few games, the Lakers in the last four, and then over the line in the previous game before that. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you can see an upward, up and downward trend from Philadelphia. They were as high as 27 back on November 21st. Excuse me, and they have dropped to a plus 22. That was as of a couple of days ago. It hasn't been updated since then. Um, Los Angeles was sitting at plus 19. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams, Last season, Philadelphia won both games by one point in Los Angeles and by 11 points in overtime at home. If you look at the stability factor here, the teams have been very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, both coming in at uh, plus eight. In the end, though, I like Philadelphia to get back on track, and I think this is going to be a home win for them. They've had a rough schedule as of late. Uh, they've had three games and four nights each of the last two weeks. That's going to ease off a bit soon. I think they're going to get back on track and win in a game over the line. Portland and in Indiana. See, Portland's coming in dead up one and five over their last six. Well, Indiana has averaged down. They were three and three over their last six games. You can see that the streak here is over under that Indiana has been involved in the over the line in the last six and Portland over in two and under in four. The score prediction, 130 to 111, 51% confidence. That's for an Indiana blowout. If that would hold true, that would be a game over the line. Um, if we take a look at the power ranks indicator, Indiana coming in at plus 18, while Portland, you see down near the bottom here at plus three over the last couple of days. They were as high as plus 16 back on November the 4th. Head to head, the teams have not yet met this season. And last season, that Portland, or actually, 4 and 1 1 in Indiana 1 1. Both teams winning at home. If you take a look at the stability factor once again, this in this case here, Indiana is very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. They are at minus 2. They were as high as plus 2 back on November the 12th, and that has changed considerably since then, and Portland is at plus 7. So I think this is going to be a uh, Pacers win. Uh, Portland is only you know four and eleven on the season and two and six on the road and they have a very low point differential of minus eight point six. I like Indiana in this one in a game over the line. This next game, Washington and Detroit, both teams are coming in playing very poorly, both dead stats, both losers of their last six. Something has to give here. Uh, they're both two and twelve on the season. Uh, and as far as the over under goes, pretty much even up between over and under over the last 12 games between the two teams combined. You can see how close the matchup is. The score prediction has Washington by a single point with a high level of confidence of 74%. Both teams are just just bad right, right now. There's really no other way to put it. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see that shows both teams at zero. Um, let's see how stable they've been. This will be interesting. I haven't looked at this yet until now. Look at this. Both teams are very consistent. What's that mean? Well, they're both consistently bad. Most of these games, they've been underdogs, and most, most of these games, they have lost. So both at plus 10. I like the Pistons, um, probably just because they're at home. That's really the only, the only reason why I'd pick them. Pistons are probably just a little bit less inept. So I'll take the Pistons to win, but pass on the over-under. If you take a look at this one, New Orleans and Utah. New Orleans comes in burning hot, 4-2 and two over their last six, while Utah has ice cold down. Losers of their last four. The over under the teams had been trending in games over the line up until the last couple of games with each team. You notice in the last couple of games, each team had been involved in games under the line. 
The score prediction that 123 to 113, although the line has not yet been set, that's probably going to be an over the line score if that were to hold true. The confidence in the prediction is 61%. The power ranks indicators show Utah up and down, if sta sta stable, excuse me, at plus five. Uh, New Orleans got up higher at plus eight here, plus 13 on November the 18th. And they're down now, they're back up higher than their previous market, plus 15. And earlier in the season, they were up a lot higher. You notice here back on the, you know, back in October, plus 29, things have changed since then. Head to head, the two teams have not yet met this season. You can see that. Uh, and Utah has won the previous three meetings. Dating back to October 23rd of last year. I like this to be a Pelicans game. I think I'm just going to ride the hot hand in this one. Let's go with the Pelicans in a game under the line. I don't like the score prediction. I think it's going to be an under the line game. The last one we want to look at is Denver and the Los Angeles Clippers. If you take a look at this one, Denver comes in ice cold down just two and four over the last six, coming off of a five-point loss on the road. The Clippers, after six straight losses, are now burning hot. They have won their last three. Um, the over-under, opposite sides of the line here, you can see it in the last five games, Clippers have been involved in games under the line. They won their last three, so that shows that they're playing better defense over that stretch. And Denver is in games over the line three out of the last four. Usually in a scenario like that, I like to avoid the over-under bet. Yeah, if you're interested, the score prediction is 109 to 103 in favor of the Clippers. That would probably be an under-the-line score. Confidence in the prediction is 55%. Power ranks, despite the, the downward trend lately for Denver, they are still uh, have a considerable edge on the power ranks indicator, plus 25 to plus 12. Stability factor. Uh, both teams pretty consistent. You see that Denver was as high as plus eight back on November the 8th, and they've been a little bit more inconsistent as they wait there now, plus six, while the Clippers have been, become more consistent there at plus five. So the Clippers are home, but I like the Nuggets to get back on track. I know it's going to be a tight game. I actually think this is going to be a higher scoring game. I like the Nuggets to get back on track over the line, perhaps an overtime game to decide it. Okay, there you have it. Those are the games for November 27th. Happy betting. See you next time.